recently changed my laundry routine and it has been one of the best changes I've ever made. If you want to know what I did to make doing laundry so much easier, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Vishali and you are watching Tiny and Tidy, which is where I love to share content about living a simple, clean, decluttered and organized life. When it comes to cleaning, there's nothing I've hated more than doing laundry. I don't mind putting it in the washer and dryer, but it's putting it all away that I dread the most. Before we had kids, I'd let the laundry pile up. I'd then spend hours over the weekend washing and drying everything. I'd start to put it all away, but then got tired of doing it. Often our clothes would just sit in the laundry basket and we'd just grab it from there instead of folding and hanging everything. After I had my first child, the laundry multiplied and it became even more overwhelming to deal with all of it. On top of that, we didn't know anything about minimalism back then, so we had so many clothes to manage. It really was getting out of control. When we had our second child, we decided to hire a housekeeper and she'd come every weekday evening for a couple hours and help with cleaning, laundry and meal prep. That was an absolute lifesaver and the first chore I delegated to her was laundry. So every Thursday evening she'd start the laundry and when she left, my husband and I would finish washing and drying everything. Then on Friday, I'd make sure to sort all of the laundry at some point during the day. Each member of the family had their own basket and I'd sort the clothing accordingly and all of the linens were placed in its own basket. In the evening when our housekeeper arrived, she'd fold, hang and put away all of the laundry. Since it was already sorted, it made it easier for her to put away and then she would do all of the ironing. We continued with the system for years and it worked perfectly for us until the global pandemic. Once we had to stay in quarantine, I no longer had a housekeeper and I had to start doing laundry again. The washing and drying part was easy because the machines did all the work, but the problem was putting all of it away. I now had to fold and hang all of my stuff along with the linens and clothing for three kids. My husband would put away his own clothes. The good thing is we now have a lot less clothing since we're working towards more of a minimalist lifestyle and most of our clothing is hung. I really dislike folding clothes, so whenever possible I try to hang clothing as opposed to folding it. But even though we were doing things to make doing laundry more manageable, it was still a lot of stuff to put away and I found that I was starting to resort to old habits and I was leaving clean laundry in baskets for days. That was when I knew that I had to change how I was doing things instead of trying to wait it out until my housekeeper could come back. So I'm really big on routines and cleaning schedules. Over the years, I've created various cleaning schedules and continue to tweak them. But one thing I never changed was my laundry routine. Growing up, my parents always did laundry once a week and they still do. And as a result, this was the same system I adapted and stuck to for years. I knew that some people did laundry daily as opposed to weekly, but this seemed like so much more work and I didn't want to bother trying it out. But now that I was faced with this laundry dilemma, I decided to pull my followers on Instagram and see what they thought about doing laundry daily. And by the way, if you're not already following me on Instagram or Facebook, there's my Instagram handle, go and follow. We have a great community there and we're always learning awesome tips and tricks from one another. Anyway, it turned out that the majority of my followers did their laundry once a week and the minority did it daily. So I then told them that I was considering switching from weekly to daily and asked them what they thought. I got all sorts of responses. A lot of people thought it was a good idea and highly recommended it, while others raised some concerns, which I have to admit were also things I was concerned about but I decided to give it a shot and see if it would be easier to make the switch. I thought it was going to be a very difficult habit for me to develop, but it was worth trying. If it didn't work out, no big deal, I'd just go back to doing it weekly. Well, it turns out that it was one of the easiest transitions I have ever made. As long as I'm doing the laundry, I'm never going back to doing it weekly ever again. Doing laundry daily is so much easier and I highly recommend that you give it a shot. Now I know that those of you that currently do it once a week have a lot of questions and concerns, but I'm going to answer those questions now and hopefully convince you to make the switch. First off, it seems like a waste of water and energy to do laundry every single day. 
Well, here's what I ended up doing to fix that problem. Normally, I do four to five loads in one day. Now, I just spread it out over the week. So I don't do laundry seven days a week. I usually do it four or five days per week. So I only do laundry once I have a full load. If it's not a full load, then I'll wait until the following day to do it. You can also save money by doing your laundry during off-peak hours. So here in Ontario, Canada, that's from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, fortunately, during the quarantine, the off-peak rates apply all day. And when things go back to normal, I will try to wash and dry my laundry from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. if possible. Another option would be to select a small load option on your machine if that's an option. But like I said, I just rather wait until I have a full load. The second issue is having to mix lights and darks. Some of my followers were concerned that they'd have to mix their lights and their darks. To avoid having to do this, I just wait until I have a full load of lights or a full load of darks. Usually in one week, I'll do one load of lights, two to three loads of darks, and one load of linens. Another concern that both my followers and I had was that it seemed like so much more work to do laundry every single day. But I promise you, it's not. Just like we don't wait an entire week to load our dishwasher, we usually do it daily. Or if you don't have a dishwasher, you'll hand wash your dishes daily. Doing laundry multiple times a week works the exact same way. Can you imagine doing dishes once a week? That would be insane. And we would need so many dishes which is exactly what we're doing when it comes to clothing. Since most of us only do our laundry once a week, we're buying more and more clothing just so that we have enough to get us through until laundry day. But ever since I started doing laundry multiple times a week, I find that I never run out of clothing, even though I have a capsule wardrobe. Which by the way, if you wanna know more about that, check out this video. So if you watch my Instagram stories, you'll often see my family and I wearing the same clothes over and over again. But I assure you, it's all clean. I just do our laundry regularly, and when I put it away, the items I washed most recently end up being at the front of the closet or drawer, so I just end up grabbing the same ones over and over again. Which has made me realize that I can now buy even less clothing for my kids and I. In my cloth diaper video, I had mentioned that I follow a system where I only have to wash diapers once a week. In order to do this, I had to buy a lot more diapers and I have to hand rinse every single diaper. Had I just done laundry more often, I wouldn't have had to buy more diapers, nor would I have to rinse every single one. I just thought it would be more work to do laundry so often, so I never bothered trying it out. So if I were to do it all over again, I'd buy fewer cloth diapers and just do the laundry more often. It's also easier because once the load is dry, you don't even need to grab a laundry basket and start sorting everything. I just grab items straight out of the dryer and just start putting them away right away. Believe it or not, it takes less than five minutes to do. And if you prefer to hang dry your clothes, put them on the hanger, let them dry, and then just put them away on the hanger that you hung them on. Easy peasy. Honestly, I can't stress how much easier it is to put away a single load than it is to spend hours dealing with a mountain of laundry. Another thing I could see people thinking is, oh yeah, obviously this works for you, you're home all day. What about the people that have to go to work? So I was on maternity leave when I started this new routine, which I admit does make things easier. And now that I'm back at work, we're in quarantine, so I'm still working from home. However, I will eventually be going to work. And like I said earlier, when hydro rates go back to normal, I do plan to do my laundry during off-peak hours. So how will I work around this? Here's my plan. This was actually suggested by one of my followers and I tried it out and it totally works. Basically, all you have to do is load the washing machine before you go to bed, then hit the delay button. I set it for three hours, which means that the machine will start washing the clothes in three hours. I didn't even know I had a delay button and I'm thankful that someone taught me this. So around 2 or 3 a.m. my laundry will all be washed. Then when I wake up, the first thing I do is put it in the dryer. I wake up around 5.30 or 6, so this is enough time for it to dry before the hydro costs go up. I'll then go to work and when I return home from work, that's when I'll take 5 minutes to put away the load of laundry. If you don't wake up super early, then you could just start and finish the load when you come home from work. Like I said earlier, since it's only one load, it really isn't time consuming or overwhelming. 
Or you can just not bother trying to save money and just do your laundry whenever you have time to do it. Just do it multiple times a week instead of once a week. I promise you, you won't regret it and it's a very easy habit to develop. Even when my housekeeper returns, I plan to continue with the system because that way she can help me with other tasks instead of doing laundry the entire time. I actually don't mind doing the laundry now, so I'd rather get her to do other things like meal prepping. Which by the way, if you want to know all about my meal planning and prepping system or perhaps a detailed breakdown of my cleaning schedule, if you need help decluttering and organizing your home step by step, room by room, then make sure to sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership. The link is in the description box down below. I am obsessed with organization and have years of experience. I would love to share everything I know with you in an organized and systematic way, which is exactly what I do in my Clear the Clutter membership. Find out more on my website or by clicking on the link in the description box down below. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down below and share this video with someone that you want to help out. I post new videos every single week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when they're posted. Lastly, make sure to check out one of these two videos for more useful tips and tricks. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!